Hey guys, how is it going? Welcome back to another video on Injustice 2 Mobile. All right, guys, so in this video, I am going to show you my top six teams that I use uh, to play solo raids. Now, this is not for any specific solo raid, it's for all the solo raids that we have. And I use these six teams mostly. And, uh, you know, basically, they have helped me out in every form, uh, you know, in the solo raids. And uh, most of these uh, characters that I'm going to show you are also available for free to play players. So you can watch this video till the end uh, because you're going to see some uh, amazing fights that I've had uh, so far in this particular solo raid and the previous ones too. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy the video watching my top six solo raid teams. All right, guys. So before we start this video, I just wanted to let you know that if you are new to the channel and if you are watching this video for the first time, Please hit the subscribe button and click on the bell notification for further updates on videos just like this. All right, guys. So the first team, which is top six. So this means the team number six is obviously for me is Silver Banshee. Let's begin the fight. All right, guys. So uh, Silver Banshee is uh, basically one of those uh, characters that you can easily find from a premium hero chest the gears are available easily from the challenge and uh you know it's it's like one of the best damage dealers that you can get across the game a basic uh, uh, in the form of a basic gold character and uh, eventually you know she will do a ton of damage you know and now the way to play with silver banshee is quite easy as we all know you just need to torment uh the opponent with a special two and then you need to disable the abilities with special one and then keep doing uh, special uh, threes uh, until the end of the match you need to reverse flash in order to do the combos you need the power girl as well in that team in order to reduce the power cost and eventually you're gonna you just take a look at the damage that she does on a special three we're not going to discuss about any artifacts uh, in this video because i think it's uh, it's you know, it's it's one thing that uh, some have really good artifact and it's one thing that people don't have really good artifacts so we're just not going to discuss about discuss about the artifacts right now all right so this was not a critical hit still we did around 2.8 million damage with a special three so this is something guys it's definitely something reverse flash thus does the combo and there we go 2.2 with 20 hits it could have been more with more hits okay so this basically is uh, where the super move goes out all right so three abilities are disabled There we go. So this is my number 16 that I use in order to play solo raids. All right, guys. So I have built all the all these characters are well built, you know, in the right form. So that was 6.5 million damage per special three, which is not bad. The reverse flash comes in, does his usual combo and stuff. The tags out. The silver banshee comes in again, six million almost. Not bad at all, you know. For for a player like a complete beginner, you know, this team is gonna be like uh, heaven, you know, because it does a lot of damage. You just need to make sure that you get all the gears to level 70 as you as much uh, fast as you can, and uh, eventually she'll start doing like a ton of damage. There we go. There we go. Not bad at all. All right. Now reverse flash will start doing the combos again and we have team number two which is uh batman ninja catwoman team number two means team number five that i use in the solo raids so uh so usually i have like zatanna's puppet uh previously i used to use if in case you don't have zatanna's puppet at the at this particular current moment uh, then you can also go with the uh, you know what's their artifact called dark metal cards uh, she'll do a lot of uh, critical hits only critical hits when she's in the corner and then you have the patch around you uh, you know where uh, critical hits are available and uh, this is my top five teams out of top six and uh yeah she, it does a lot of damage guys you know what you need to do is you need to tag in uh, with batman ninja catwoman she has a lot of things to do you know she can do damage with dot's uh, she can do damage with the special three insane amount of damage with special three 
and uh, she can blind the opponent she can reduce the enemy's defense she can reduce the enemy's power generation as well uh you know so but the thing is that you need to have the gears for this particular character in order to make sure that it works fine you also need to have the other two characters which is uh, gorilla broad and uh, batman ninja robin now, these two characters can be easily uh you know it's easily available batman ninja robin is available in the arenas uh, Batman Ninja Catwoman is also available in the arenas and uh, Gorilla Grodd is available in the challenges but also we have a chest which gives you like around 7-8% chances to get Gorilla Grodd uh, you know so I, I think getting these characters is not difficult it's just a matter of time when you get the gears which is also uh, you can also get them as a free to play player you just need to open a lot of uh, gear chests and there is a Batman Ninja gear chest available to make sure that if you want to get the gears you need to open that particular chest okay and all in all this is a decent damage dealer not decent actually it's a pretty good damage dealer you know it might take some time to get the gears and stuff but when you do have all of these gears you know then uh, uh, this particular character will do like insane amount of damage you don't need to have gears for gorilla Grodd or batman ninja robin uh, but you have it's great if you don't have do not worry you just need to have the full set of gears for batman ninja catman so I'll let you guys enjoy the fight I know, and I think this is one of the free-to-play teams. The first one, Silver Banshee, was a free-to-play team. This one is a free-to-play team. And we're going to see uh, in the video ahead uh, you know, what more free-to-play free -to teams that I can show you guys. All right. Here we go. Our special two. The DOT is going on. There we go. And moving on, guys. Moving on to our next team in a bit. Right, there we go. So, any guesses on team number four? You know, I think team number four is probably one of those teams. Uh, I'm pretty sure that everybody will have it. So, let's just finish off this fight and move on to team number four. All right, all right, here we go. Let me just Take the video a little forward. Team number four is our lovely King of Atlantis Aquaman. Uh, so, uh, as we all know, so basically, I have kind of muted the sound over here because I was speaking in the background. I don't want, I did not want to, you know, get a voice on my voice again. It would be like, you know, creepy or something. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, this is one of those characters which is easily available in the league store, including the gears as well. And you need to have at least a Dr. Fate. You need to have Dr. Fate in order to support the character by reducing the power cost. And if you have Shazam, it's great because Shazam will increase the damage for all the might and arcane characters in the team. So uh, this is the best way to get the King of Atlantis Aquaman. You know, it's, it's a completely free to play player. The good thing about this character is that it has a passive which actually helps out a lot of players out there. And the passive is that he does uh 10 percent damage for first three special threes that he's going to do on the opponent this is the main reason why he is there on the list and the other reason is that he is a free-to-play character you know and if you guys are looking forward to getting a damage dealer real quick in your roster and if you are a beginner then i think you should first go and unlock king of atlantis aquaman this should be the first character that you're going to unlock not batman ninja team uh not batroom in the drowned or anything else you know, you need to go and unlock King of Atlantis Aquaman first and then go for the rest of the teams. So I basically uh, use him with the Nora Snow Globe. Again, uh, that artifact is actually a free-to-play artifact. We're not going to talk about artifacts, uh, you know, just now in this video. Maybe in the next video. Uh, but yeah, this actually works, does wonders, you know, when, uh, you know, when you use Nora Snow Globe on this particular character. And you can see over here, he's doing a ton of damage. You know, he did two special twos or... Uh, I'm sorry, two special threes or three special threes before. And then now he got uh, dead and then the clone is uh, in the fight. And I think I did already two special threes over here with the clone. And I'm going to do one more. There we go. So this is a complete free-to-play team. The artifact is also complete free-to-play. And uh, you can actually take down like big boss health. You know, like if you're having a boss which is having like two billion health. Or even one mil billion health it's it's gonna help you a lot guys you know it's gonna help you a lot with this particular team and with this particular artifact as well you know so there we go the special three goes in once again this was actually one of my finest pips that i've played 
uh, with King of Atlantis, Aquaman, and Nora Snow Globe. As you can see, the combo interruption is great. I did all the three special threes with all the clones and King of Atlantis, Aquaman himself. All right, guys. So moving on with our next character on the list. Let me just forward it a little bit, which is again a percentage damage dealer. Now, this character may not be a free to play character, but you know what? Uh, let me tell you something. The character that is currently there in this video, the Deathstroke character, you know, it is not having any gears on him, you know. So if you, you know, if you get a get a chest that has Deathstroke in it, uh, you know, you don't need to have gears in order to make sure that he does a lot of damage. What you need to have is a decent team that can support him, you know, in order to get in and do that particular amount of damage. So what I use is basically I use a Horrific Scarecrow to increase the opponent's power cost. And I use Green Lantern, Emerald Green Lantern, in order to increase our power, you know, whenever we tag in. So this is the team that I use. You can, if you have Deathstroke, uh, you know, you can actually, you know, try various uh, other teams as well. But this works for me just fine. So the good thing about this character, again, he's just like King, just a little bit better uh, because he is a premium character, legendary character. And uh, the thing is that he can do, uh, he does a lot of that. He does percentage damage. You know, he does... Uh, percentage damage with a special two and uh, the artifact that i'm using on him is again the same artifact which is nora snow globe and uh, you can see uh I, you know in, in this fight you know i thought that the boss is going to do a super move so i just stopped there for a bit but eventually she she did not do anything you know so i'm tagging in with the uh, green lantern which is eventually increasing the power cost okay there we go the super move is going to be applied and i'll die almost dead i'm almost dead now the clones will come in you know and the clones will do again the percentage damage that's the good thing about the artifact and this particular team you know you can again do a tons of damage with this particular team you just need to be making sure that uh, you know you should not die just like this you know you should not mess up you should not die quite early in the battle if you do you will lose all the damage that you can do with the clones and that is one main reason why you know i have uh Horrific Scarecrow in the team, you know, he helps with the power increase for the opponents and it, it is basically, you know, one of the reasons why I have him. All right. So, uh, yeah, Deadstroke will be down soon enough and then will the clone come in and we're going to keep doing the damage with the clone, with special two again. There we go. As you can see, the damage is also pretty good, pretty good, actually. There we go, another special two. It was lagging a little bit, but again, you know, if you are clear with your mindset, you know, you can easily, you know, get all these special the twos with Deathstroke, even with the clones, you know. All right, guys. Now this was team number three, and now we have uh, three teams left. Now this is going to be team number two, you know. And uh, the reason why this is team number two is because of. Uh, the characters are there in the team now i have uh, batman the drowned and batman who laughs if in case you don't have batman who laughs you can replace him with arkham knight batman if you don't have arkham knight batman you can play around you can either put classic superman or you can either put red hood to increase the timer to increase some stats for your particular damage dealer but this is the team that works for me you know again this can be called as a free-to-play team because uh, of batman the drowned and uh, the green lantern john stewart green lantern they are both easily obtainable characters you know yeah i mean batman who loves is not a pre it's, it's a premium character but uh, again you know the reason why i have this team in my solo raid list is because because of the damage as you can see on your screens guys uh you know once again the uh legendary character in this particular team batman who loves can do percentage damage with every fourth hit uh when he is on a darkness mode you know he can actually increase uh the crisis energy bar uh with his special attacks which helps a lot for Batman the Drowned as well. And the Hydrokinesis is the main thing over here. You know, the Hydrokinesis, uh, when it's done, as you can see, it's applied now, Hydrokinesis, and look at the damage. Two million without doing anything. You know, without even, I haven't even done a super move over here. And again, when, when in the darkness form, Batman Who Laughs does a ton of damage. So this team, without Batman Who Laughs, can also do a decent amount of damage. You just need to have John Stewart Green Lantern to increase the hazard damage. And this team is 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 the probably the best team you know that you're gonna have as a free free to play player you know, and uh, finally 
there we go the super move is on and eventually it will increase a ton of damage and you will see how it will increase the damage there we go batman who laughs is in we're going to increase we're going to start the hydrokinesis over here okay batman uh batman the drown now take a look at the damage it's almost 9 million we were there on 2.8 and now it is 9 million almost 9 million now the artifact i think that i have on this particular character on batman the drowned uh it's a uh, cok crown of conduct and that is the reason the damage has increased a lot and i had to do a few specials in between as well you know just to get that damage buff all right guys so that was that was team number two now finally team number one which is probably you know the best team that i faced so uh, played with so far which is the loa team with raven in it now you can be you know you, you might not have raven with you you know but i'm pretty sure that you might have a batman character and you know because of which uh i think this is one of the uh teams that are there on rank one uh because of raven and uh heartbreaker harley quinn now raven will do the stacks five stacks of darkness on uh, the boss and there we go and i have crown of conduct on uh yeah it's level one crown of conduct on uh, heartbreaker harley quinn and raven is doing power steel as well as applying darkness over here there we go now it's time to tag in a damage dealer and do a special two and then eventually the boss will get stunned and then eventually you're going to do a lot of damage now look at the stats over here you know the stats will increase eventually as i do the special attacks uh with my hbhq there we go now this is this team is the best team for me it has done like it has also done a one shot on a two billion health boss so this is the reason this team works well for me so as a free to play player you know if you don't have a character like uh, let's say raven you know you don't need to worry about that you just need to put in a batman character they won't do a lot of damage like this but they will be doing decent amount of damage even with the batman character you just need to stun you need to tag in hbhq do the damage tag out then again tag in batman then stun and then do the damage uh, with hbhq now this team uh, this team is probably you know would be counted as a premium team because of raven and you need to have the artifacts as well <clears throat> but we're not going to talk about artifacts we're going to talk about how to get the gears uh the first thing in order to get these characters the loa characters and uh raven you need to open a lot of chests and there is an loa chest and there is a raven's legendary chest as well and in order to get the gears for the loa team there is a joker uh loa team gear chest you know which uh, through which you can get these gears for epi and hbhq and last law of the joker quite easy so which makes uh, this team as a top team in my list and i'm pretty sure you guys are going to enjoy the fight there we go guys there we go <clears throat> all right guys so look at the damage look at the freaking damage ah that's nice that's definitely nice and the boss will be dead now yeah there we go she's dead all right guys so that was a pretty decent one shot that i did with this particular team so this was my my six teams that i usually use uh when it comes to the solo raids if you guys enjoyed the video give it a like and let's meet again in the next video guys until then you have a great day take care of yourselves be blessed and stay safe guys have a good one Bye bye